They don't wanna see me rise, no They just wanna see me fall When I've been giving my all I'm just gonna do it my way Hey everybody, this is Mwadib Bring you a video uh, on just kind of Cody add-on settings 101 updates when you change them things like that so uh, keep getting people asking this so just gonna do a quick video on it all right I'm going to open a settings file here all right this is for a tester add-on I've got installed all right so if let's look at the metadata we'll keep it easy we'll keep it simple all right so we'll go into the settings of the add-on or at least I think I thought we would oh yay now my Cody's all jacked up nope oh, there it goes oh alright so uh, let's look in here customization enable metadata it's turned on alright let me close that alright so enable metadata da 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 it's going to be up here at the top right here okay metadata true I'm going to change this to false alright notice that says default equals false which means the first time it loads if it's never been viewed it's going to be false that doesn't mean that it is false all right in the settings because those are stored in user data all right if we go back in here go back into settings all right it still shows it as on but if we hit defaults it switches it to off because again the keyword here defaults if you change it in settings.xml in your add-on and that add-on has already been installed on someone's Cody it's going to keep whatever was on there before you made the change unless they hit that defaults button and then hit OK alright now that's for any add-on for Cody be it an Exodus fork, uh, Zen fork, um, Phoenix fork, Gen template all right it doesn't matter you know that's the way Cody works uh, so if you change your settings.xml then they're gonna need to go in there and hit that default button and then hit OK now with a gen template it's a little bit different you have a little bit more control if you have version 1.6 or higher all right um, there's certain things that down here all the API keys all right and then your root XML and all this stuff down here you can update an end users information there on install or update of the add-on so let's say I've already had this add-on on here I make that change I release a new version all right I go from version 1.0 to 1.1 I made changes to um, stuff in this section and stuff in this section all right the APIs and dev mode section then what I want to do before I release it is this line right here current version all right I want to change that to whatever number is higher than what's there so if it says default equals zero I change it to one all right if it says 10 I change it to 11 all right you get the idea now then when I release the add-on my gen template version 1.6 or higher will turn around and say hey we need to update all these keys and user data all right from with what's in settings.xml so it'll do it for you automatically so your users do not have to click on defaults and okay if you change the API key here 
uh, for any of these or if you change uh, the location of your root XML or the news window XML all right um, it won't it, it'll allow you to, to do that okay um, 1.8 included some fixes for the for this uh, so if you're using it y'all definitely use things uh, or gen template 1.8 uh, if you want to make use of it recommend it now um, unfortunately in the other add-ons that are out there most of them you're gonna have to hit have them hit defaults and hit okay all right either that or they're going to delete the add-on data folder for your add-on in user data all right so anytime you install an add-on and you open that add-on just to, to give a little bit more background info here it is going to store stuff in user data add-on data all right as you can see here there's a settings.xml here this is under user data add-on data plugin.video.arrakis and this is the settings that you or the end user has whether they're custom or not uh, when you open that add-on for the first time it generates this file and it sets all them defaults based on what's in the xml settings.xml and saves them under user data and they will stay there even if you uninstall the add-on if you reinstall it they're still there just like they were before uh, the only way to change them is again hitting that defaults button and then OK or uh, turning around and uh, putting something in your add-on like we did with gen template to update special sections all right um, if you do a change that's outside of those API keys and those XMLs and you want users to to see that change let them know all right via the, the latest news and updates that's why we have that in in gen template for example uh, as far as the other add-ons out there you know developers that use those let the people know uh, however you communicate with them whether you have a latest news and update or uh, Twitter, social media, Telegram, um, my widget, let them know. All right, just just let people know uh, to hit that default. You know, give a few screenshots, all that, so that they understand. All right, so that's it to this video. <laughs> it's pretty short and sweet. Um, like I said, you know, it's uh, depending on the add-on depends on what end users have to do when you change entries in your settings.xml but hopefully this uh, gives you a little bit of info to the new devs out there uh, people just getting started with gen template or other uh, forks and they don't understand why their settings aren't updating this is why uh, so if you're doing it just in testing before you do the release you know, just hit the defaults button after you change it hit OK and it'll, it'll update uh, back all the way out of the add-on go back in you should be good and then when you release it just make sure uh, you do what's needed uh, for your end users to see those changes too all right y'all have a great week see you in the next video thank you for taking the time to watch this video if you liked it be sure to leave a comment down below click like in the corner and subscribe to my channel thank you very much